Hey everyone, this is Tina from Greenhouse Studio and today I want to show you how to make a mood board in Canva. If you aren't familiar with Canva, it's a platform that makes graphic design easy, including free, beautiful templates to make pretty much anything you want. My mood board was easy to do and I want to show you how you can make one too. First, go to canva.com and get yourself set up with a free account. Once you have that done, the first thing we'll do is click on templates. Then scroll through the carousel until you find photo collages. Under photo collages, they even have a mood board category. But it's a little more limited, so I'm just going to scroll down until I find the template that I used. Find one that you like and then click use this template. So here's the workspace interface. On the template, when you click on a cell, its editable properties appear in the upper left of the workspace. So if I click on this image, for example, anything that can be edited will show up right here. On the far left are the elements you can use to customize your template, and that's everything running up and down on this side. We'll start editing this template by adding imagery. Click on Photos to use Canva's stock photo library. Here you have stock photos to pick from and you can type in a search and all of your options will come up. If you do see a crown, that means it's part of Canvas paid version. You can also add your own imagery by clicking uploads and inserting files. I found free stock photos using Unsplash and Pexels and uploaded them here and I'll place a link to those sites down below. Choose an image and drag it over the frame you want to place it in and it will insert itself. Double click any cell to align the photo the way you want it. You can move or adjust any cell on the template too. So this one, I'm going to pull it down a little bit so I can see that green leather sofa a little better. And you can also resize if you want. To move an image to a different cell, right click and select Detach Image. Then you can pop it into another frame. You also have options for tweaking your images. One that I think is important for mood boards is called tint. Often you'll find an image you like, but its colors might not really coordinate with your color palette. This is especially important when you're doing a branding mood board. You can adjust the tint so it looks more cohesive with your color palette. So using this image, for example, I can go to adjust and then tint pops up and then you can change it so that it fits maybe a little better with your color palette. You can change any color palette by clicking on a frame and then clicking the color icon in the upper left. So I'll click here and then click one of these color icons and you see all this information. And Canva automatically generates a color palette based on the imagery in your template. And then in addition to that, you can copy and paste in a hex color or you can drag this around to change it to any color you want. We can add font ideas by clicking the text icon and adding a text type and then selecting a font. Here you can bring in a header, change the font, and you can make other changes too. Finally, we can customize the template itself. The elements feature allows you to add different design features. Some are listed below, but if you scroll through the carousel up top, you can see all the different categories. 
They even have one called paper, which I used. And I want to show you a couple things here. So we can resize it, of course. And then if you right click an object, this is true in any graphic design program, you can change the order of the object. So I'm going to send it to back to the back. So now it's behind the palette and the text. Here's another idea I want to show you. Say you want to display your colors in a series of circles. You may have seen that in some other mood boards, but your template doesn't have them. You can just make your own using elements. So now I'm going to delete this palette and bring in a circle and I will change it to white and resize it. And I could do control C or control V, or I can just hit the duplicate button and change the color again. Resize it a little bit so that it fits and Canva makes it really easy to align things. And then I can duplicate and duplicate again. And there you have a new color palette. Once you're happy with your mood board, it's time to share it or export it. To share it, click the share button and type in an email address. To export it, click the download arrow and select the file type you want and save it to your files. So there you have it. Canva makes it really easy to create beautiful mood boards. You can share them with your clients or use them in your business or for a project. So open up a free account, pick a template and play around with its features and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and a subscribe and I'll see you next time.